I'm Sally Horchow, and this is Very Good Looking, where you can find taste every day. I never have quite enough room to put up all the photographs and things that I've collected over time. So I created these shelves so that I could swap things in and out and move them around. Another way of displaying an array of items is a salon style wall, where you hang different shapes and sizes and textures and things. And also salon style walls are all the rage. My friend Chris McCall is an art consultant and the owner of my favorite salon style wall in Los Angeles. And Chris was nice enough to have me over and show me and you how to do it yourself. Chris, thank you so much for having me. Thanks for being here, Sally. Now, let's talk about the salon style wall. I am obsessed with this. Am I crazy or is this a trend? Absolutely, it's a trend. So many of my clients are asking for it these days. And so you're an art consultant. What does that mean? It means I go into people's home and help them build their art collections. Okay, and when they are requesting a salon style wall by name, are they talking about just wanting to put everything they have up on one place or what does that mean? I think that my clients are reading all the same design magazines and blogs that you and I are right. and they see this wall um, set up in such an eclectic way and they're like, I want this for my home, I just don't know how to do it myself. The things that they're hanging on the wall are a mishmash, I mean that's what I call it. I don't know. No, it's like, a perfect term for it. It's, um, you know, it's it's about hanging your family portrait with a brand new painting and everything in between, oh, an yeah. object, right? And I think that they're really relieved that I encourage that. I think people are afraid of doing something wrong with art sometimes. And what a salon wall does is allow you to incorporate everything that reflects your, you and your family and your personality. I think that's the key also because that's what this trend is in general. It's about mm. people wanting to be very authentic and real about who they are in their homes and express yeah. themselves that way? I definitely see that more and more with my clients where it's not wanting a name artist, it's not wanting something that will say, look at me, I've arrived, it's I really want something that reflects how I feel about um, my lifestyle, what will work well with our family. So now let's take a look at your salon style wall and how it's done. Okay, that'd be great. Okay, so you've very nicely taken everything off of your wall for us. And what's happening here? Why is everything on the ground? Is this the first step? Absolutely. You want to measure your wall and then bring in anything and everything that you're thinking of putting up on the wall. And what you do is you just start arranging. And it gives you an idea of how it will look up on the wall. So just move it around. Move things around. And you have such a great eclectic array, just like what we talked about. I mean, I see plates and paintings and... Oh, sure. There's a little bit of everything. Um, there's plates from my grandmother, these funny holders yeah. that used to have vases in my mother's house that I stole away. There's something from the bargain bin at Anthropology. Great. There's a piece that my daughter made in preschool when she was three. There's just a little bit of everything. Great. And then how do you start hanging it? Well, what you want to do is figure out what's going to be the focal piece of the wall. And you want that to be a piece that draws the eye, is strong, maybe graphic, colorful. Does it have to be the biggest thing you have? No, nope. no, nope. it could just be the one that when you look at everything over, you're like, okay, that could anchor my wall. And how do you decide what is gonna go next to it? Well, let's say you have a really graphic, bright focal piece. What I like to do is then the piece next to it might be a lot more subtle. Okay. And so what you're trying to do is kind of create a dialogue between the pieces, but not be overwhelming. You don't want bright, 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 bright. Mm -hmm. You know, the opportunity of a salon wall is having a lot of different visual interaction. Sometimes you might not have this many pieces to put up. Right. And you could just start with your focal piece and have a couple more, but the great thing about it, a salon style yeah. wall is that it's about adding on to it year after year. Yeah, exactly, like the scrapbook idea. As right. you collect art, as you inherit things, you can just keep spreading from the middle. That's great. Okay, let's see how it goes. Okay. And voila, this looks absolutely incredible. Thanks, Sally. Salon style wall. We did it. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. The best thing about a salon style wall is that it looks great if you have a small collection of things that you're gonna build on in the future or if you already have many items to display. A salon style wall is just plain appealing to the eye. It's just plain very good looking.